Hello, my name is Zaire, and I'm a sophomore at NCCU. Today, I'm going to share three things that I like to share to everyone about myself anytime I meet new people. Currently, I am a sophomore at NCCU, like I said before, but I am off campus, and I take classes online. The only reason why I take classes online is because at the beginning of my freshman year, I had got my own house and currently have a job that I really, really like down here. So I didn't all the way feel as though I needed to be on campus in order to still get the school experience and my degree and everything to be successful in life. And another thing that I wanted to share with you guys about me is that I'm the first person in my family to go to college and actually be finished in college and not have to have a baby or dropped out or anything in that matter. So I have a lot of pressure on me to continue to strive to be the greatest one that I could be, to continue to get to that degree, continue to take more and more classes, to expand my knowledge on everything that I want to do in life because I don't feel like I'm going to stop here. And I know I'm not. So it's a lot of pressure on me because I really have to be that example for my younger brothers and also my nieces and nephews to continue to keep going when the pressure is on you at the most. And also another thing that I wanted to share with you guys was the two people who matter the most to me. And these people matter the most to me because I raised them. They also made a big impact on why I chose early childhood to be my degree because I really enjoy kids. I really have a passion to see kids happy, to bring the light out of kids, to be around kids and make kids feel loved because at a young age, like around 15, I had to raise my little brothers and I didn't have a problem with that. That was actually something that I enjoyed because I got to really learn them and everything about a kid and what they enjoy and what they miss and what they need to get out of life in order to be the greatest. And this is a picture of them too. I don't know if you guys can really see it clearly. Hmm. There we go. And another thing about them are they're albino. So that's another thing that really, really, really brings them close to me because as they go on to the real world and, you know, people don't really know how to take different color people and albino. They don't know how to separate the two from being white or black. And for a long time, they had to fight for their color and always tell people, you know, I'm black, I'm black. I just have a color problem or they feel like they had a color problem. And I always would be the one to tell them that you are who you are. You are black and don't let anybody tell you anything different just because you have a different color than them or you're lighter than them that don't change anything about their personality or how you are in the world so that really made me be closer to them and always want to be that one that tells them every day like you're beautiful no matter what you look into the mirror and people may say that you may feel is right and that really made them stronger into going to school and really telling people as though no I'm black and my mom and my sister told me that so you guys would not be able to tell me anything different and I know throughout life like I'm always going to have to be there for them it really do hurt sometimes that I'm in my own house and they're still there with my mom and my dad so it's like we really don't see each other as much but I always want them to know and I always tell them that I'm always going to be here for them Another thing that I wanted just to let you guys know before we I left you guys was that I am from Maryland, so that is almost six to eight hours depending on how you drive from Durham, North Carolina. And when I did come down there to visit the school, I loved the campus, I loved the atmosphere, I loved the people around me and the friends that I did make for the couple of days that I was there. So I absolutely had no problem with choosing one day to come back to campus but as of right now I have so much going on in motion in my life that I feel like we I could be connected from online as much as I could be connected out of school.